So a little while ago, um, my air temperature sensor started going off and I realized that it's in the driver's side mirror. Um, so I went to AutoZone and I bought one of these guys right here. And this is a replacement apparently part. But the problem with that is that it's not how the original one looks like in the mirror. So I took the mirror off and uh, looked in there and it just kind of soldered in there um, so I've seen some videos where guys would kind of retrofit you know cut the lines and so solder a new one in with the wires and everything but um, but since my mirror was broken anyways and I feel like with all the work you're gonna put into actually trying to retrofit one to fit in there I just went ahead on eBay and bought another mirror and that already has the sensor in it. So I figure I'm just gonna replace the mirror. That's kind of what you have to do um, to get, to do it right. And here's the replacement mirror. Hopefully this works, because on this one, the temperature sensor is right here on the bottom. Um, but on my original mirror, it's like right there. But I don't think it matters, hopefully, as long as the connectors are the same. So here we go. Yeah, you got there's a lot you gotta unscrew to get to the sensor switch. But these are the three Phillips screws on the bottom here. Then there's a Phillips screw right here on the side. And then what do we got? So yeah, I gotta get this guy here and one at the top. Right there. Take these guys out from the <clears throat> top right here, and then there's one right there. And it's kind of a pain to get to, really. And there's two of them here. And there they are. All right. That's out. I'm gonna let let this dangle because it's got all the kind all the connections to it. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, Use that, and then, oh boy, you gotta take the speaker out and everything. Oh my goodness, the de Fiat design is insane. I'm telling you, Fiat, Chrysler, why'd you team up with Fiat? Your shit sucked before, but now it sucks on a new, whole new level. Seriously, to change an air temperature sensor, I need to go through all this. It's a pain. All right, there we go. Now then. All right. So that plugs in right there. Let me look at the new one. I got the gray and I got the black. That's those puppies right here. Gotta disconnect these guys right there. That one and that one. Now we gotta undo these guys right here. These four uh, screws to get the mirror off. All right, let's see. There we go. Ha! 
there it is. See, lucky for me, my mirror was already broken, so it wasn't that much of a pain to, or, you know, wasn't that much of a deal to get a new one um, ordered. So now, the new one, we have to, uh, Then you open the door, and even though the mirror is not connected, it's jammed between this thing right here and the door, so it'll sit there as long as you don't open it. If you open it right now, the mirror will fall out and you're going to need a new mirror. But anyways. it to be the easiest way is to slide this part in first and then that. now we're done check it out a whole new mirror looking good now the temperature reading should be reading correct aha look at that Okay, oil change required, yes, I know. But look at the temperature. That's exactly what it is outside right now. So, there we go. It works. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, I have not, not ever really done this before, so this was my first uh, time doing this. But um, I found this to be the best way to actually replace the um, air temperature sensor uh, and just get the whole mirror. And if you actually take it into the dealer to do this, they're gonna charge you, what was it? I, I've heard anything from three to $400 or more to get this done, which is ridiculous. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Sign up and uh, subscribe and, and follow along and we'll be doing the oil change in this thing pretty soon and uh, transmission fluid change and I'll be doing that myself. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.